Hey everybody, how are you doing? Good to see you tonight. I was just uh, trying to arrange all my stuff and realized I wasn't plugged into the internet, so I wanted to do that so we don't have any problems like we had. Hey everybody, let's see who's here. Charlotta, Joellen, hi Glum and Gina. Linda, Dorothy, I saw Dorothy last night online at about 3.30 in the morning and she told me to go to bed. Wasn't that you, Dorothy? <laughs> and Sheila, hi, Jenny. Hey, Karen. Laura. Angie, Debbie. Did I say Linda? I can't remember. Hi, Bernice. Amy Powers, hello. Hey, we're going to do a fun thing tonight. Hi, Elaine, Belinda, Raylene, I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Liz and Suzanne. Oh, it's good to see. There's Isabel, Naomi. Yes, it was you. <laughs> what were you? Oh, I know. You said it was 8.30 in the morning. I know. I was just, I know. I feel like Romper Room, too. But I do want to say hi to everybody. It's like you're in my kitchen. I want to say hi and see who's here. Yeah, so tonight um, you were surprised by the chat last night. I know. I didn't know what to do either. Um, Liz, I didn't know. I saw this new thing in uh, Facebook. It's a group chat, but I'm not really sure. You're building a shop for your business. Raylene, you mean the... Um, business that you work for with Amy, the um, scrapbook store, which I can't think of the name of it. That one or a new one. That's exciting. Anyway, all right, guys, I have a lot going on today. We're going to a James Taylor concert tonight. So I want to make sure I get everything out there. 68 degrees. It's like 90 something here. And I'm so glad we got seats inside and not on the lawn because that would be miserable. Hey Angela. Hi Cheryl. Um anyway, let me just make sure I get everything said. Oh, one thing is on Saturday and Sunday, if anybody's here that um is located in Maryland, I'm gonna be at a show in Westminster. 
that's uh i don't know the name of it i need to make like a little thing about it but um i'll be there in marco's paper booth so if you want to come and see the new stuff if you want to see the samples in person come on by and you will see them it's supposed to storm tonight Ugh. well that's gonna be yucky oh you moved to branson oh isn't that cool well congratulations um there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, we have a lot of guests coming on next week. On Tuesday, we have Madeline. We're going to talk more about banners. So hopefully you were, uh, you've were you been collecting and gathering all your supplies. So we're going to make banners on Tuesday. So you can make along with us. Well, along with Madeline. I might do one too. Um, what was I doing four years ago? Mm, I'd have to go on Facebook. <laughs> They're my memory, apparently. Um, on Thursday, we have Chelsea Comer coming on. She has a rubber stamp business called uh, Inky, the Inky Stamper. And then we have on the 20th, that's a Wednesday, so that's an extra show. We're going to have Lisa Horton come on, and that is going to be amazing. Hi, Helen and Laura. How are you? Uh, what else? I do have a small treasure haul, which I thought I would, would, oh, you were at Joanna Dizo today. We're banners everywhere. She is hip. I know. She's always ahead of the game. She knows where things are at. All right. I'm going to get my desk ready so I can show you my haul. It would be easier if I did that with the camera down. Um, let me just make sure I said everything. Oh, someone was asking about mom. Uh, it's not great, but she moved, um, she moved hospitals because they wouldn't operate. And then she moved to another hospital to go be with her old doctor that did the hip originally. And then they said Monday. So my sister is trying to get the scoop. We haven't heard much today, except that mom is a little bit more animated. And I think she just got really tired. And you know how it is when you're sitting in the hospital, it is just, it's like time stopped, you know, it's so, ugh. so anyway, she's perking up a little and eating. So hopefully um, it will be Monday, if not sooner for the surgery. I don't think she's in that much pain. They have her on morphine, but I don't know if she's still on it. Um, she doesn't do great with medicine. So I'm just hoping, get her in there, do it, you know, but I don't really know the details of a breaking on a broke, you know, a hip that's already been broken. I just don't know what, what happens with that. So I know it does seem late, doesn't it? Because it happened on Saturday. Anyway, I'm not there. So I'm thinking of making a trip up, but it will have to be quick. But anyway, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thank you for all your prayers and nice thoughts. Really, four years ago, I was there? Oh, wow. I was trying, I guess. <laughs> that was crazy. I think I'd had a couple whiskey sours to try haggis. <laughs> As I recall, it was not that bad. And I still don't know what it was, and I don't want to know. Okay, so let's get the show on the road here. Let me show you what we're going to make. I don't know how much we're going to get to. But what we're going to do is this is the Field Notes Journal, which you know as being a spine here, but we are going to put a spine over here instead. Now, this one, I used the spine that I had from this die. On the one that I'm going to do, I want to use an alternate version of that, okay? You've been getting your pieces for... I think you mean banner making, not anger making, <laughs> including your notebooks. Good, Karen. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, it's tasty, Sheila. Well, you're from Scotland, and that's what you guys think. All right, hang on. Let me, um, let's see what we have here. Let me bring my camera down. Let me get out of here. All right. Can you guys hear me all right? I feel like this could be a problem, but just let me know if you can't hear me. Well, I guess you can't let me know if you can't hear me, but 
uh, hoping you hear me. All right. So let me show you. Sound is good. Thank you, Angela. All right. Let me go through and just show you really quickly, and then I have a box to open. Okay. All right. First of all, I got this cute little bowl. It looks kind of vintage, but it's not. Um, it's, you know, from Marshall, but <laughs> it was $2. And I thought that was cute because when I'm working on stuff, I can put things in here. Thank you for saying you could hear me. Um, what else? Oh, I got a bunch of knitting needles because you know, I've been knitting lately. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say was thank you to everyone who um, voted for my, my book in the contest. I feel really cheesy to ask for help voting, but I did it anyway. <laughs> so thank you to everybody that did. Okay, so this one is, uh, I embossed this cover here, and then I added some fiber, because that was part of the contest I was in. I made like a kind of a canvas, or that's that faux silk, or raw silk that my sister gave me. I made a little um, tassel out of another kind of yarn and I added those cute little scissors. And then this is the part that I think is really fun. It's not really finished yet, but it's enough to enter the contest with. But I really do wanna use this because it is um, where I can make my notes. Like this was that white yarn that I used to make the tassel and I tried dyeing it and it worked really cool. So I was gonna put, or I guess I did, this is the little holder, you know, so if I need more, I know where I got it and I need to make better notes, but um, that's the thought on here. I can keep track of my yarn. Here's some more, you know, this is just other stuff. So you know what you have and how many skeins of it and you can make notes here or there's also a little pocket there. Anyway, I thought this was, it was fun to make. And these are just envelopes. These are number 10 envelopes that I just scored and then glued these together. So this is a fun way to make, uh, you know, a journal insert book. And then for to hold it in, I slid it in here and then I glued there and there so it doesn't move around. I also added a piece of plastic in here to keep it rigid because it was kind of flopping around. I just used packaging. I can't get in there. And I also used a sewing pattern as a liner because it looked too white. Anyway, and then this cute little yarn. Um, I wanted it easy to open and close because I don't like those elaborate closures. So anyway, that's that. So I do, <laughs> that's to justify the knitting needles that I do occasionally use, okay? This whole batch was, everything in the store I think was 75% off. Can't remember where I got these. Anyway, um, I saw this thing where they used metal knitting needles and they, they punched dowels and they made it as like a holder for their ribbon. Each of these stuck into a little thing. Anyway, someday I might do that. But in the meantime, these were cheap and I'm collecting them. So, and I think they're pretty. I might just put them in like a jar somewhere because I just think the colors are beautiful. Okay, I also got some other things. This is like a little guest book. Oh, I thought that was a string. Um, it's upside down. But, oh, they put the pages in upside down. All right, anyway, I thought I could use the pages. I could just use this as a guest book. I don't know. It's handy to have. And I think it was 75% off. Yes, the closet. So everything in there was 75% off. So this was 50 cents. And if nothing else, I can use the pages. Um, oh, this. This I did not get at the closet. This I got at uh, this one store that I used to really like. And then they got very fancy. But what I liked was they called this Barbie fabric. <laughs> and I had to get it. For the color, this is pink velvet. So for that alone, and I think it's like cotton velvet, which is hard to find. And this is tool, which you can find anywhere. But that satin, that reminds me of some old dresses that art we had on our dolls. Hey, Lenine. Oh, good. So anyway, I had to get the Barbie fabric. 
Uh, what else is in here? I just got a couple little books. Oh, these were cute. I am a sucker for little teacups and things to hold stuff. So these were 50 cents. And that one actually says Nova Scotia, where my husband and I went last year. There were two of these. So I got can I repurpose the binder and one of your album covers. Oh, that's true. Yes, I could. I know the holes are fun. Um, what else? I got these little doilies. I think this is hand crocheted lace. I didn't take it out yet, but let's see. It feels really thick. Yeah, it does feel. Look at that. Someone made that. Wouldn't that be pretty on a journal? I would have to really figure out where to cut it. But I think that's pretty. And then here's another piece. And, you know, somebody took a lot of time making that. This one is a little shorter. But it's pretty. And these are little trays. I like to put like scraps and little things in here when I'm working on a project and then leave them in there so I know next time I go back to work on it, I have them all in one spot. And then, oh, this was cute. Yeah. Isn't this pretty? I love that. I don't know which way it goes. I thought it was hand painted, but actually. Oh, hand-painted originals. It was hand-painted in Rochester, New York, which is where I went to college. Yeah, near there. So I, I, this might have been an ashtray, you know. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. I wouldn't want to put ashes in there. And I've got a couple little books. This one was pretty. The Gardener's Book of Verse, Poems for Five Seasons. I don't know what the fifth season is, but they're just little poems and little illustrations. And I thought it was very pretty. So I might use this in some of these books that I do. I don't know, but I think it's a good thing to have. I got the firefighters counting book because the little boys love the fire trucks. So we can read that or I could use that in a project. And then just a couple other things. Um, travel games. I don't. Oh, these are little notebooks, which I didn't take apart, but I kind of thumbed through. But they're just. Let me see. Not really sure what they are. Oh, no. Oops. Oh, they are little games. Well, that would be fun for an. Just put it out in the car with a little bag of uh, colored pencils so the kids can play. And these are some labels. And I had an idea about taking a little board book like this. Yes, I could use the ash ashtray to, tr to rest my paintbrushes. That's a good idea. Hey, Elizabeth. You could watercolor those floral images in that poem book. Yes, that would be really pretty. Oh, yeah, you guys. All right. I could bake, <laughs> I'd probably do craft. But what I was thinking was, you know, to do, use this as a base at, uh, for like a little board book that you could decoupage on or add your little scraps or collage and just use it for a base. So there were a couple of them. This I thought I actually got for the kids, but um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we use that for that, for a bigger collage. I don't know, I just got them. They were cheap, and they're here. So who knows? Who knows? But they'll do something someday, and I'll show you what we do with them. All right, so that's one thing. Now, let me move that out of the way. And I have a cool box of stuff that's hard to lift. Look at this, guys. Ashtray. That's what I thought, Amy. Um, Where's my... Where's the blade? <laughs> hey, Karen Rogers, how are you? I'm trying to open my blade. There it is, official. So this is a box of stuff from Simon Hurley, because uh, I don't know if you remember, but he, I did a panel discussion with him 
and we were talking in the chat and I was like, you know, that lunar and solar paste stuff of yours looks pretty cool. So he said, I'll send you some. So I want to see what he sent. Isn't this exciting? I know. <laughs> I Well, I don't know if you mean at the thrift stores or <laughs> getting fun stuff. Okay, there's a little, uh, oh no, it fell, fell off. I have plenty of these. But these little scrapers are cool. Okay, look at all this stuff, guys. <gasps> That's adorable. A whole thing. So I have to watch his videos and make sure I use it the right way. Because this one is like a shimmer and I don't know. I have to see the difference. Um, I watch his videos. They're hypnotizing. So I, I need to figure out how to do it. But I'm thinking to use with stencils or to even just kind of scrape on the front of a journal for an accent. And actually, I did that. Oh, look at that color. Oh, what's the name of that one? I can't see. I don't know. And they're pretty. A lot of shimmery, guys. Look at them. Can you see? Oh, yes, this is going to be very fun. Ooh, that's a pretty navy blue. But what I'm thinking, you know, when you just give it like a light scrape, you can see through it. And I can't wait to try it. So thank you, Simon and Ranger. That one might be like clear. I have to figure out where the name of it is so I can know what to call it. That's a pretty one, too. Is my hairband. Oh, yes. This was so generous. Thank you. So I have lunar and solar. So I'm excited because I saw him at Creativation. And actually, that's where I saw May May. She was watching him with her, her mouth open. She loved him. And so I stood there and watched. And then I watched his videos. And he's just a nice guy. So anyway, I'm happy to have some of his stuff to play with. So thanks, Simon. We'll be uh, getting this out and taking a look at it. All right. So let's get into our project. So here's what it looks like. Let me put the blade away so I don't chop my hand off. <laughs> okay, so here is our folio journal. And you guys are going to recognize it. Um, here's the die. So the way we usually make it is we use our self-binding system right on the die. But I decided to change it up a little because actually I started doing a one-page wonder and I was trying to do it sideways. And then I thought, well, you know what? I could just make my book this way if I add a different way to bind. And this honestly works really well, you know? So all you do need is this. This is the... Um, you know, field notes and specimen card die. So I did do some layering here, which is unusual for me, but I really love this paper. It's called uh, Dear Love, wait a minute, I threw away because I had strips of paper. It's, yeah, Dear Love. This is by P13, also people that I saw at Creativation, and they were in the booth next to Sizzix. So they gave me the stuff off the wall, actually, that they had because they didn't want to bring it to, it was too heavy to take back to um, Poland. So they, they just gave us the stuff off the wall. Then I used, this is the specimen card. This is part of the paper. This is a little piece of like a cheesecloth. And then this is the die from uh, this one envelope folder and flowers so i used each of the sizes of the leaves and flowers and these i watercolored um i cut them out first and then i just kind of went around them and and watercolored really pretty messily and i think they look pretty they would also be pretty if they were popped up a little but anyway i was really happy with how this came out so i want to show you how i'm not sure how much we're going to get to and these dies you could also use. You know, this would be pretty. These are the scrapbook.com ones, the flowers and the labels. You know, you could use them on here too. I thought that kind of gave a nice pop of color. So um, the other die 
that I want to work with tonight is one called the book box. And the reason I picked this one out is because this one has a separate binding piece. Um, I'll show you on the die, but it would be this right here. So we can either make it this skinny, you know, this middle section, or we can fold here, make a thicker spine. And in that case, I wanted to show you another thing that I got at my scrapbook store that would work inside the book to bind it. And these are two binder mechanisms from 49 and Market. And the thing I like about them is that it's you don't have to screw them in or put the... Uh, you know, with brads or anything, it just goes on with double-sided adhesive and you can just stick that in the book. So anyway, the, that would be another option. I don't know if I want to make one that thick because you have to fill it um, with a whole lot of stuff and we don't have time. But, um, and then the, the last thing is map board. So I'm going to use that for my base. Okay, so let's get going here. So I'm going to do as much as I can, and if we can, if we have time, I want to show you how I made this little accordion book. You can fit a lot in here. And this were, these were other pages in the book of uh, paper. You know, the I mean, this holds a lot. So I didn't even really begin to decorate it because I was thinking like our little envelopes we could put in here and flowers and all kinds of fun stuff. I Maybe some of my watercolors, I don't know, but um, it just fits nicely in here. So I'll show you hopefully how, how to do this. Yeah, thank you, Glum. And yeah, any of these supplies, if you need them, uh, go ahead over to my Etsy store. That's where they are. Thank you. All right. Um, also, if I didn't finish, I was telling you about that uh, jur the journal that I made. It's in a contest, so if you want to go and vote, thank you. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep these just white because what we're going to do is we're going to cut down our paper. We're going to use the die and a trimmer uh, to kind of make an outline here. So this has like a, a white frame. So I'm not going to attach it to my map board as I usually do. I'm going to cut them separately. So let's go ahead and just get our covers. Um, hmm, you know what? We don't even need to do that. Let's just do down to here because I'm not going to use this binding. I'm going to use the one that goes on the book box. Okay. Oh, if I can get that to grab there. Oh, and my light is getting weird. Why is it doing that? What is the blue tape over the holes? Hi, Hope. Um, you're new. Okay, yes. The reason I put the blue tape, this is actually fun foam. And I put it over any of my holes or areas that have tight angles to make my mat board release easier. It'll just pop out easier. So that's why I do that. But good question. Um, the other thing is we do need a... I'm just going to butt that right up to the foam. And then they'll both be the same size. And then I'm going to cut the binding from the book box. Okay. I give great customer service. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Karen. <laughs> always nice. I And, you know, I always mean to thank you guys for writing nice reviews for my shop because that counts for a lot. Okay, look at that. It's perfect. Okay, so that's that. Now, we also need one of these, the specimen card, because we want to put that on the cover also. So I'm just going to tear that off and let's trim that. I get my little cutting pad. Okay. So, Hope, do you like to make books? You can make other things out of these too. Our our group is amazing. We have the Eileen Hall fan club. You can join that too if you like what you see here. We have a very fun group. Very 
talented. Okay, so see how they just pop out? I love that. Because otherwise you have to pick them with your die pick. Okay, so I think we're done with this one. Well, for the moment. And then let's get our book box die. So you can see here, um, these are the pieces to the book box die. So there's the cover, but this is an independent binding. So we're going to use that for this book. And then these here are the little sides that make this into a box. But um, I love that this die, well, all these dies, they're like a system. We need another longer piece. My scraps were not long enough. You have a lot of my dice. Oh, good. And you have made a few. <laughs> That's what a lot of people say. <laughs> All right. I hate to waste this. I might just trim it down here. Get my scissors. Oh, yes. It is a wonderful group. All right. Let's. Because I can use this for something else. Let me just make sure I do it long enough. Could use my blade. These are not the best. These are my Dollar Tree scissors. So, but you can see they work. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut that binding piece. And I'm, like I said, we usually cover the mat board first with double sided adhesive and then cut but today we're doing something just a little bit different so I'll show you what i was thinking all right first we have to decide do we want a a fat one or a skinny one and i'm thinking a skinny one what i'm thinking to do with this is to um take some pictures that i got when my mom and everybody we're up at my daughter's, you know, around the pool and things, and send her like a little journal to look at so she can remember the fun time we had. So in that case, we don't really need a thick one because I don't have that many photos. So this is like a one time. So what I would probably do is just take this and actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fold it in the middle. So I just have this, and I'm not even going to trim that off because in the other book, I didn't cover the inside, um, and it stuck up. Let me show you. So in the other one, see how this looks kind of elevated? So what I want to do, I, I was thinking of covering it, but this is kind of popped up, and I don't know if the paper would lay flat. So what I want to do for this one is peel away this paper here so it lays flatter and we don't have all that extra bulk. And sometimes I do this anyway, but since I do want to cover the inside, I am definitely going to do this. It's not really a precise way. You just have to keep peeling and peeling. But all right, let's do this side. So you guys are doing okay. I, I know. The, I went through all of them, Laura, and looked and to see which size. You have to run. You'll watch the list. Oh, okay. Thanks, Glum. Yes, you have a good weekend too. You just gave me an idea for two covers that had the binding from the notebook. Oh, good. Okay, so let's get rid of this stuff. So all I'm going to do is, you know, make this little binding here, like that. See, I probably would peel off a little bit more because it's still sticking up a good bit. I have no nails because when I went to California, I got those stupid gel nails and they weakened all of my, they are all these little short nails now, which my nails are not great anyway. But. All right, sorry about this. It takes a little while to just 
peel the stuff off, but I think I'll be glad in the long run. And I think I'm going to use glue to stick this down. All right. Well, that's a little thick, but that's okay. I have my little jar here waiting because I know I'm going to be using this glue a lot. So I have my, I wetted a paper towel in there and that's where I'm going to keep my glue. Yeah, so this was really a nice size and I was happy. And I think I'll just kind of center that on here and then look at the outside. Yeah, that looks good. Just line it up, flatten it. I think I moved it a little bit. Yeah. So just press that down. You could clip it if you wanted. Well, thank you. You were just watching recovering from a blood transfusion. Oh no. Laura, I hope you're okay. It doesn't matter which way we turn it because they're both the same. Just uh, make sure it might be easier to do it this way so you can line it up right. Make sure that, well, it's sitting. It's not helping me at all. Seems like that should be right. So I'm going to press and hope that that is. And also that my hands are clean. Okay. Mm. Seems to be a little off. I'm just going to adjust that a little bit there. Okay. And, you know, you can press it down all different ways. So now, look at that. We've got a nice little book. But see how that is still sticking up a little? If I took the time to peel it off down to the paper, it would be better, but that's all right. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we need to pick paper. And I found this book. I got this at, I think I got it at Joann's. And it's really pretty. And my mom loves flowers. So I thought, hey, Lisa and Jody, I thought I'm going to do flowers on here. It, doesn't seem to me that these really match, but they're pretty. Like there's tropical, there's vintage. I love the roses, but I think I already used that one. Uh, that's kind of pretty too. I think they're, she likes violets. Maybe that would be pretty. These kind of look springy. That one's nice. Maybe I'll do this one. Daisies. Yeah. And I'm going to do this on the front. And I'm going to use my new Sizzix trimmer. I have been using it. I already need a new sharpening blade. <laughs> I'm going to trim off this little piece here. Because it's got that little circle thing. And I'm using a paper that doesn't really matter too much uh, which way, well, I guess this way. So I'm gonna cut, uh, I think I do want the front and the back. I did do both sides on here. Even that is just pretty by itself, I think. But, all right, so let's trim this at here. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And just make sure that that fits. Oh yeah, that should be good. So that's that, and five and a half. I'm only gonna have an inch strip, but you never know what you can do with an inch. Okay, then we also need to cut one of these that kind of contrasts with uh, that other one. All right, so let's, um, 
Let's do this first. So I'm going to get my die and I'm going to cut these. Where did that ball go? It's under the pile. Okay, so I'm going to cut two of these shapes. And I'm going to do them so that they're, I think, when you run these through, if you do the right side facing down, it seals the edges so they kind of come up that way. Do you know what I mean? Instead of curving around, that may not be, but that's what I think. Right, I'm using my chest here. <laughs> oh, you bought one of those trimmers, Dorothy? What do you think? Did you get it yet? Good night, Isabel. Okay, you guys can probably figure this out anyway, but all right, so now we have two covers, so we want to think about which one looks better. But I'm also going to use the die. Uh, no, I'm just going to trim it down. I could, but it, it's going to take another couple passes to go around, which we don't need to. All right, so. This I did not really measure. I just took my piece that I wanted to cover and eyeballed it like that, but I just took a little bit off each side because see here it's flush. Now this might be pretty, you know, you could just do that. And that actually looks pretty nice. But let's just do it and just for the heck of it. I'm just going to chop off a quarter of an inch on both sides. And that's going to give us a little bit of room. And then, and I'm actually going to eyeball this too. Of course. All right, so that's actually this little piece here. I'm just chopping that off. Uh, yeah, well, that, that does the trick. Yeah, all right. And we have these little strips. I don't know, they're pretty small. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, that's a little more than I was gonna take off, but it doesn't really matter. And then we'll take off about this much from the bottom. We'll just trim that. And then we're ready to go. I could have trimmed it down to the size that I wanted and laid it and centered it on the actual die, but it just, I think, would have been more fiddly. So I think I'm going to take one more little sliver off here because it's just bugging me. Let's see how, yeah, it handled it. Look at that. Nice. Good job, trimmer. Okay. So, oh, it just came today. That's exciting. That's pretty too. You know, it's just a little different shape. This went more out to the edges. So, you know, you could trim a little less off and have a wider thing. Okay, and then this will go on the back. Yes, kind of like that one on the front. All right, so I'm just going to glue it on. I don't like to go too close to the edge because then it can squish out. All right, and we'll just kind of eyeball this here. It's hard to do because I'm not looking at it flat. I would probably have to stand up to do that. Uh oh, well, good thing we're going to cover that. I don't know what that was, some kind of ink. So are you guys having fun with this folio? Uh, not folio. This is the field notes. <laughs> I am. I. It's like, uh, just because it lays on its side differently, it's like an exciting thing to me. All right, let's move that over a little. There, that's pretty. All right, now we have our book. So we could cover the inside if we want, 
and we can do that after. So that's not really a problem. I, I can't pick this up unless I wanted to, uh, you know, peel it off and put it back on, which I could do because if I'm going to glue paper on top, you know, that wouldn't matter. So I could do that, but let's just, uh, let's just cut another piece that contrasts and kind of stands out a little bit more. Love the field notes. Oh, good. Yeah, that paper is pretty. Um, I'm trying to see what's on the other side. We could do, see, I don't feel like that goes together, you know, that color. So let's see what else is in here. Maybe not even that green. Like this paper seems, I do like ones that have these cards because that works well when you get your pages in there and we have all those little pockets. Uh, those two, those are cute. Now see, there's that, but I don't want it to be that much the same. I was thinking like a black or, that's kind of wild. Maybe that. See, do you think this pad looks like it goes together? That might be nice. It's light. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see what this here. Hi, Teresa White. Oh, I know. With the Field Notes Journal. Wait, what was Amy? I made a book for my friend's new rental property with info about the place and guest book. Oh, well, isn't that nice? She couldn't believe you made it. Yeah. Amy, you are so generous. All right, I just want to know that, but that's not contrasting enough. That might be nice. Hmm. Well, let's take it out. We'll go back and forth. You guys can vote. <laughs> this paper pad is beautiful. It's kind of cool too, but it's also light. And those look tropical. That green is pretty, but I think I'm going to go with one of these. So let's pick. I think we're doing either. So which one do you guys think? I'm feeling like this one, but that would work too. What do you think? Green or brown? I'll give you a minute. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm covering this. I mean, that would even just be pretty. That would stand out with the white, but uh, green, green. All right, I got two greens. Anybody for brown? <laughs> One brown. All right, I'm, the green is winning here, so I'm going to go with the, the green. Okay, brown is a nice contrast. Yeah, you know, this is brighter, and this, I mean, maybe this would perk her up a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'll go with the green. I, I'm, I think you can't go wrong with green. All right, so let's just cut a little window here. It's going to turn it around, and I'm going to get out my smaller plate just to make it easier and just kind of figure out how big a piece I need. That's awkward. <laughs> it's not that big of a. I hate when I don't make it big enough and then I have to cut another one. And I say, why didn't we just give it a little bit more? All right, so I am also going to cut one of these little strips because this might be a nice contrast. We'll see. I just don't want it to all blend in. If you're going to the work of layering it, let it be stand out. One of each, okay? <laughs> I probably should because I could, yeah, I could use the brown for the inside or um, put little pockets inside. But I think it's going to be pretty. And we could cut more. So this is nice, you know? Look at that. That little pop of gold, that's cute. Okay. All right, so all we're going to do is glue that on. Then we'll have the outside done. And 
we can do the pages or some anyway. Whoa, um, 10 minutes, okay. So we're gonna bring some uh, cheese and crackers to the concert and they have this really nice little place where you can go and eat, except if it's raining, we may eat in the kitchen. <laughs> and this actually we could go that way. I don't know, that's maybe too much. What I did on this one was I used one of the papers that came, you know, like little background papers. It was like a scene, it had nine on a page. So I cut that and then just kind of focused on this uh, scissors. And then I added this cheesecloth stuff. And uh, oh, the other thing I really liked was I took some uh, luster wax and added that on the edge because I couldn't find my brown ink. Can you guys see that? Gives this nice little gold. Yeah, anyway. All right, so maybe we should do that now. So I'll show you how I did it. It's not hard. It just made it pop around the edges, I thought. So I just took my little cheapy sponge from Dollar Tree and squished it around in there. Got some gold luster wax. I have this in my Etsy store. You guys need it. If you don't have this, it is beautiful. On embossing folders, Oh, so pretty, so satisfying. And I just went around the edge like that. That was it. Just be careful not to get it on your hands. And if you do, wipe it off because it's still a little wet. Or not wet, but just kind of active. And it will go where you don't want it to. Look at that though. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? You see it glowing? You had posh tea in a medieval evil tie farm today? Built in 1450? Dorothy, you get around. All right, I'm just gonna wipe this down because I don't want this on me. And if you do get a little smeared, you know, it's just going to go right where you had it, so. But sometimes it comes out a little thicker than you want, so. Let's keep track. Okay, once wax is where you don't want it, you cannot remove it. That is correct. So I've done that, and it makes me mad. Okay. So there's that. All right, so that's a good cover. So let's get one or two pages done just so you can see how. This we don't need the big shot for, but I'm going to get my trimmer. And we need to pick again two more pages. And actually, we didn't use this. This would make a good page. So I'm going to trim off this little, I'm just going to go to 12 inches down here. Oops. Cut that off. And then if there's a right or wrong, which I guess would be this way, I'm going to go to six inches. And let's do another one just so you can see how they go together. Because once you do one set, they all work the same. So let's see. What's that pansy? Maybe that would be nice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because that's got the blue. Okay, let's do this. All right, so let me chop that off. I do like this trimmer. I do feel like I'm still learning it, though. <laughs> okay. So this one too, it's not really right or wrong. So I'm going to cut this down to six. All right. So now we have, we have enough for a couple pages. Uh, wait a minute. I'm still using this because I want to use it to score. All right. So this comes with a handy dandy little scoring blade. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to do this on here because I think it's a little bit lighter. I am going to 
whoops, is that moving? Oh, because I pulled this out. All right, I'm going to go here and I'm going to score at four. Whoops. Four and eight. And then do that again, four and eight. And when you see this, guys, it's going to be like, this is so easy. The only thing that's different is we're making little pockets, which we can also do on here. So handy. I have to say, it will be fun to have, okay, you have to go and buy a computer for your husband. I know, Carrie, I saw that you were here the other day. That's cool. All right, so let's just fold this up into little folders. And these are going to be our pages, but we're going to stick them together so we don't have to bind them, you know, sew them in or anything. Okay. So what we're going to do is on one of them, we're going to make a slash and a slash. And what I did was I just measured up two inches from the bottom, just random, because I thought that was a nice kind of a 45 degree angle. So I'm just going to mark on either side. And this might be a little tricky to see. Mm. Do I have that's white? I can use a white pen, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. We thought this would be a problem. Okay. And that's the pen that doesn't write. Okay, let's see. Um, this one. You never know what's good. There, there we go. All right, on this side and this side. Okay, so I just want to show you how this is so easy. All right, so we're just going to take this and lay it in here. There is a way to do 45 degrees, but I am going to kind of just kind of do my own version. And I've got the top fold up here and then where it says two inches. And let me just make sure this is right. Um, just want to make sure because that seems, yep, two inches. Okay, so then I'm just going to make sure that all lines up and top, okay, that way and then this way. So I just have my fold here and the line there. And then we're going to hook these up together. And we're going to have little extra pockets, okay. okay. You're going to Mackinac. Is that Mackinac Island or is it Mackinac? It always looks like it. All right, I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of squish this out because it's not exactly perfect. So when you do that, it kind of forces it to go flat. And this one is the same thing. So let's do that here. Get these the same size or if not, at least lay flat. Okay, so now we can either do it this way or this way. But what I did was I took one of these and I turned it the other way and just glued that there to make a double pocket on the front. And it just looks pretty, you know, so you can tuck stuff in here. Um, but then this is going to be a flap. If you wanted, you could glue that down. Um, let me see. Maybe I did do that. Uh, no, I left it by itself. Because then you have like an open open book here. Okay. So let's just glue this on. Okay. 
either it comes out all at once or not at all. And then just, I think this looks so sharp. Just make sure you get the corner right. Because after you, the more pages you put in here, the harder it is to line them up. So I think those colors are really pretty. Okay, so you have page one, page two, page three. Now you're going to take this and line it up to here. Or I kind of like that better. What do you guys think? We have two pages, so we can do it this way and then do the other way. So just keep in mind that things are going to bend like a little differently. So the one thing I had to fight against was getting this going off that way. <laughs> so, but then again, it's going to be in a book and big deal. But, and don't forget to do the back too. So it stays on. And I'm just going to lay that in there. Lay that there. And you have another page. Okay. Now that looks a little off. So you can trim that later if you want. Or maybe you just have that off. Wait a minute. Is it too late? No, you can still mess with it. All right, it may be a little bit too tall. Let's see. Because remember, it does have to kind of fold into itself. So just, yeah, that's a little tall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim that right now. Let's see. Don't hate me, trimmer. No, nope, it did it. Good job. All right. Maybe it's still a little bit wet, but I'm going to add a little bit more here. So I should have done that before I started, but... Uh, It goes this way. <laughs> I lost my way. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's better. Perfect. Okay, I'm glad I did that. I feel better. <laughs> the island over the big bridge and no cars on the island. Oh, that is so cool. So is that the one where you, they only have bikes? Okay, see, now it's easy to get off a little bit. So... Just kind of scrunch it over and try to make it fit right in the beginning, right off the bat, because otherwise you're going to have problems. All right. Of it not fitting. You can, you're the boss. You just make it fold how you want. Okay. So then you have, oh, that wasn't good. Well, another thing you can do if it does that is just sand it on down going to be the binding you're not really going to notice okay so there's one so that's what you do you just keep going and you know then you would do another one like this and place it right there so you're always going to have like open areas and you're going to have pockets too which is really fun and i think that's really pretty and i wish i hadn't done that but i did okay so the one thing is when you go to put it in your book and you can decorate this however you want. If you want to add some of these pages, like, you know, these pieces that are really pretty, like these, you know, cut these out and tuck them in the pockets. That's really fun. There's also these. So when you're looking through your paper to uh, figure out what you want to do, just keep in mind what pieces are inside the book. And also, if you like the colors and how they go. See, you now that color just doesn't seem like it should go. But, I mean, they're all the colors of flowers. So, get down to it. There's that. But so, you can alternate these. So, I would do, you know, this the next time. Cut my 
things and then turn this over. So it always looks different, you know, every time you turn. And this one, I think I did four. Let's see. The fun thing too is you can use both sides. So you open it out and then you also have this side, you know. Um, let's see, I did one, two. Oh, I did have one piece left over and then there's this in the middle, which is cut in half. So I might've done five, but it's a respectable amount, you know, it, and it, fills it up really nicely. And then all I did for the binding, let me just tell you that, is I took a piece of elastic and I would do this one a little differently because that one had the holes, this one doesn't. But what I would probably do is just take, hey Angie, how are you? I would just take my crocodile, in fact I'll just do it. You could lace it in if you wanted, but I think I'm just going to do my half. Drives you crazy. Get all that junk in there. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh, well. Maybe I'll put some luster with. So you just take this and go halfway. And what you do is you make a little notch for your elastic to just nestle in there. You know? So now when you go to tie this, it's going to sit right in here nicely. And then you're going to take your book, you know, this will be tied, and you just find the middle and slide it in. And that's all the binding you have to do. And if you want to work in it, you take it out, you know. And that's it. It's fun. I love this little piece here. I just think that's so cute. And let's see, you know, I don't have any cards cut out, but, you know, you can fit a lot of different things in there. And I was also thinking that little envelope, you know, you could put down here with like a little card or just all kinds of stuff, all your fun little goodies. So that is my idea for the day, guys. So thanks for coming. I hope you have a great weekend. Oh, you know what? It might be luster <laughs> No, because you can't erase it, but we can cover it up or add more luster wax. Plus, it's on the back, so who cares? It does look, you know, that might be pretty with a little gold luster wax around the edge. You never know. All right, I'm going to put this up when I finish because I do want to get this done. And I think Mom will like that. That's really cheerful, don't you think? And then maybe a picture for the front you know, and keep it simple. Just tie a little bow here. I think that would be cute. I don't want to, I may be going up soon, so I might have to do it quickly. So anyway, hey, there's Simon. How you doing? Wait, let me show you, Simon. We opened up your box of goodies. Everybody say hi to Simon. <laughs> do you watch him? You should go watch his, his uh, hashtag or his, what do you call? Call sign is uh, in clips. So Simon, you gave me this big box of solar and lunar paste, and we're going to have fun with it. Okay? I will have fun. Everybody says hi. We were just going off here. So we finished our project. I don't know. Maybe we could fit some lunar paste in here on our pages. I have to play with it. I just got it, and I didn't have time. I didn't open anything yet, but I'm going to. So I'll be watching some of your videos too, <laughs> just to get it right. But I might do something crazy. You never know. Maybe we'll do a video. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Have a great weekend. Keep my mom in your thoughts if you have a minute. And uh, thanks for voting for me on that, that uh, <laughs> contest thing. You can vote until Tuesday. You can do every day if you want, but I don't blame you. <laughs> I keep forgetting about it. So I just want to share, because that was nice of them to give me the yarn and stuff. So, okay. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thanks again, Simon. See you guys. See you on Tuesday. We have a fun thing. We're going to talk about banners again. If you haven't joined the fan club, go to Eileen Hole Fan Club and share what you're making, okay? Thanks, Simon. Hugs back to you, and you have a good weekend, too.
All right. Okay. See you guys. Bye.